20 things about how to lie with maps. Number 1. In this book, the author explains why all maps have to lie. Number 2. Maps have three main attributes. Projection, scale, and symbolism. All three can be part of distortion. Number 3. Projection, no map can preserve areas, angled shapes, and distance at the same time, so you have to choose in which element lie. Number 4. Scale, graphic scales are the safest on a map, as they change the size on the same relation as the map, so the graphic scale will remain true. Number 5. Symbology, the danger with the symbology appears with the graduated colors, symbols, and data breaks. Number 6. A map has to generalize, else it will not be useful. Number 7. Every elements in a map are in reality unique, but you need to group them on the map, so the map is masking reality. Number 8. In some cases, map makers had add some deliberate blunders to control the copyright. Number 9. Useful maps do not always look pretty. Number 10. A bows of predefined colors on computational maps can lead to masked information. Number 11. Advertising and cartography communicate a limited version of true. Number 12. Maps are needed for urban planning, but at the same time those maps reflected just a selected view of the reality. Number 13. Zooming map is extremely important as they can make rich some people by decisions about using generalizations and lines for certain zones. Number 14. The maps are being used to legitimize territorial conquests and disputes. To have a good defense, you need to guard your geographic detailed maps and leak false geographic information to your anemics. Number 15. Fudged maps used in the conflicts to disinform the opponent are becoming more and more deprecated as the spy satellite are improving their spatio-temporal resolution. Number 16. Cartographic silences is a form of geographic disinformation. Number 17. Different locations have different way to create maps, which can be understood as a different dialects. Number 18. There are problems of privacy in some detailed maps as there is too much granularity on the information. Number 19. Correlations that take into account spatial location are adding a third element with the space and in some cases a fourth one with the time if it is spatio-temporal data. Number 20. Image maps don't use to show raw data as they always have applied some pre-processing. <laughs>